Hello guys, it's Miki. Welcome to my channel. And if you're just tuning into my channel, please subscribe, turn on the notification bell so as to be notified each time there's an upload coming from me. Well, today being Friday, I'll be showing you guys how to extract oil from Python fat. I know some people will be like, uh, Miki, Python fat. What do you mean by Python fat? The animal, you know now, snake. The cold-blooded animal, snake now, as we all know, Python, snake. Well, um... Most times we get to extract oil from the fat of the python and we, we tend to use it in treating our stretch marks. All right, so I'm going to show you guys how to extract the oil um, because most people get, get this part wrong. They do get it wrong. All right, so if you notice, I had to pause because some people get to burn it. So I'm just going to show you guys how to extract the oil. All right, most people call it infusion, but... I don't call it infusion. I extract the oil. All right. So um, this is how the extracted Python oil looks like. Um, we tend to get the extraction from Python fat. That's from a snake. Python, which we all know as a snake. So we get it from the Python, the fat of the Python, where we get to extract the oil. Most people get to fry the oil. Well, you shouldn't fry the oil. You have to extract it using a double boiler method. But the extraction is really, really slow. You'll be using more approximately like 8 to 10 hours when you use gas. If you use electric cooker, who knows? It's as slow as that of a crock pot. It's really slow in extraction. But that's the best way to extract the oil. Because then it will be actually good for you. Some people actually get to fry their python fat. You shouldn't fry python fat. You're meant to extract it. As I said earlier, you're meant to use a double boiler method. The only reason why I noticed people get to um, fry it was I went to get it from someone else because I had already run out of my own. And I noticed um, it was darkish, darkish than this. This is supposed to be the exact color after you extract it. It's not meant to be blackish. But I noticed it was blackish and I had to you know, smell it and it smells really conk meaning it was already being fried mm, just because it's been fried doesn't mean it's not going to work it is but it's not going to be as potent as this because that one they had to kill it if you fry it you've killed it it should be double boiled all right using a double boiler method don't fry it it's like you frying your mango butter or your avocado butter. you've killed it all right you've killed the nutrients it's supposed to do for you and you know, cold-blooded animal, the fat of a cold-blooded animal is actually very good for the body. You can actually try and Google it, find out how it is, and you'll see um, that the fat of most cold-blooded animals, cold-blooded, I mean, <laughs> most, the fat of most cold-blooded animals are actually very good in, um, you know, rejuvenating the skin. And this is actually very good for stretch marks, but it's not the only recipe used in fading of stretch marks, all right? So I will show you guys the process I'm taking in um, uh, actually extracting my um, Python oil, or I should say Python fat, and extracting it into an oil. But it has taken approximately eight hours for now, and I'm still extracting. Right. So let's let's okay, check, it. guys. So um, pardon the other pots. I'm a lover of food, you know. <laughs> So um, this is the pot I've been using to extract it. It just so happens I've been adding more water and more water into it in order for it to cool off. So I will try and um, switch off the light so you guys can actually see it. Okay, so let's go see how the python fat looks like. You guys already know why I'm wearing a glove now because of this. That's why I'm actually putting on a glove. So... This is the python fat. So you can see that I've actually been, um, you know, trying to extract. You can see some oils. The ones I've extracted, I've actually had to put them in a 100 ml bottle. This, I want to fill up a 50 ml bottle. You can see how long it's taking to extract the oil. But you can, you know, if you notice, there's a lower part where the oil, and it smells really horrible. This is how the fat looks like. So all you just have to do is extract it. Now, some people get to add oil inside and then they begin to extract it. Don't do that. Because by adding oil inside this fat, then you're actually mixing it with other oils. 
which shouldn't be mixed with any other oil for now all right so don't include any oil in extracting the oil just leave it double boiler method though it's going to take a longer period okay but just leave it you see it's already extracting itself look at the lower part it takes too long for it to actually do its job but it's way way better than you including other oils into it in order to extract because you want it to do to actually extract faster don't do that all right this is really really strong it's um it's very very effective so please don't include um oils that are not meant to be included at that point in time okay so we'll actually cover it back this is for a customer the reason why i'm taking my time to do this the one i got for a customer i was being lazy I went to get it from someone else. That was when I noticed the person tend to fry our own oil, which uh, will not be good and effective. So I'm taking my time to extract the oil instead of killing, killing the oil, right? So we just way back and um, it's, that's taking too long. As long as, you know, I can't remember. I've been extracting this oil since in the morning and I've been able to extract this and a 100 ml bottle for you to see. I've not even gotten to 50. All right, you can see how little it is. So still continue extracting. I just wanted to show you guys how to extract because um, when I notice some people who are, you know, making sales in skincare and the rest tend to fry the oil, it shouldn't be fried. So that's why I actually wanted to correct that notion. You double boil the oil. This is mostly meant to be the color, not blackish. If it's blackish, then you've killed it. This is the color. It's supposed to be this color. Or if it's lighter than this, that means they didn't really extract it. They actually just got it from the fat, which is also very good. All right? Most times, if you leave the fat alone like that, maybe you put that fat without extracting in a container, you'd notice it will be you know, plunging out oils on its own. So most times, if you plunge out plunges out oil on its own it's actually very very good as well it's effective as well as when you extract it but when you burn the oil like putting it directly to the fire don't do that you've burnt it. you're killing the oil it shouldn't be killed right this is meant to be on your right skin. guys so hope you guys actually enjoyed that little tip i just showed you i know some people will be like what did mickey just show us now say what kind of rubbish is this we already know this one now well, there was a reason why I actually showed you that little tip was um, some people in, into skincare, the same business that I am, are also making some blunders, all right? So um, I ran out of my own snake oil as Python oil, and um, I went to get it somewhere. I'm not going to mention the name. I went to get it somewhere else because uh, the person actually wanted it at that point in time. So um, I noticed it was uh, burnt. It was darkish. It's not meant to be darkish. Meaning the person had to fry it. Maybe she got frustrated because, you know, you had to wait for approximately almost eight hours heating up that oil. It takes so, so long to heat up the oil, you know, and um, maybe she just had to pour it directly to the fire. Because when you pour it directly to the fire, yes, it will actually extract it for you. It will. But it will just give it a different smell. Apart from that, it won't really, not that it would not work, it will, but it might not actually give you exactly what you want. What you want meaning you're actually using it on your body so whatever you're using on your body should be really nourishing you should go for the best so um when going for the best you should know okay this is actually a cold-blooded animal and you know as we, if you actually read or surf the net very well you notice oils extracted from cold-blooded animals are really nourishing on the body they serve a purpose each each animal or each oil gotten from each animal serve a purpose like that of snake the fat gotten from a python actually helps in, you know, fading off stretch marks. It does, you know, and um, you shouldn't burn the oil. Don't burn it. You know, some people be like, eh, hey, we can burn the fat now. From the fat, it will extract the oil. But when you extract the oil from the fat, you notice that it's become blackish. And the smell will be so conk, you won't be able to use it. All right. So I just had to correct that notion. And um, I'll catch you guys on saturday tomorrow is saturday i believe yes it is so i'll see you guys tomorrow bye guys and i love you like kilo day <laughs> bye